What's up everybody? This is Turn On Toronto, the show where we bring you face to face with the faces of the city. And today my guest is Ruben Reyes, aka Heidi. What's going on? Let's talk a little bit about your career. Where, yeah. where did you come up? Uh, first started back in 97 uh, from the drum and bass roots. Really uh, listened to that. Um, I guess that getting into the EDM scene, uh, started emceeing. I played drums since I was uh, 10 years old mm -hmm. and been in bands in and out like pretty much my whole life. And then just took up uh, DJing and just, uh, I guess, stopped playing the drums. And I guess DJing was my kind of way of substituting for the drums. You know, four or five years ago, started listening to dubstep and started getting into it. And then kind of here where I am now. Yeah, I heard the Bad Boys track. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. So, you know, why, why did you choose that one? To uh, I just... One day I just heard it and I was like, yo, that would, that'd be good to make a remix. And that's kind of a tune that just everybody knows. I mean, mm -hmm. if anybody that anybody's been watching TV and seen Cops, like that's the theme song, right? And I just thought, you know, it'd be a good track to remix and uh, it turned out really well, you know? Cool. I mean, you've collaborated, you've done some work with uh, Skrillex, right? And, yeah. uh, and Nero. And uh, what's that like for you? I mean, do you kind of feel like, wow, I'm making it now? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just... It's really, uh, you know, Embrace, they've really helped me out. That's the big company in Toronto that does mo a lot of the dubstep. I should say most of the dubstep and the big shows. Um, they've really, really helped me out and kind of breaking me out into the Toronto scene and, uh, you know, getting me to play with all the big artists and stuff like that. And, you know, I just love, you know, playing music and meeting all new artists and uh, playing with them and just uh, basically making people dance and have a good time. Mm -hmm. That's something I dig about you. I, I looked on your Facebook and uh, one of your posts was, I'm just a guy who loves to make people dance. Yeah. Uh, you know, how much, how great is it a feeling when you're up there and just kind of commanding the whole crowd? It's pretty surreal and epic. I mean, you know, like I've had it sometimes where people like, you know, they do the Heidi chant and scream Heidi and it's just, you know, just seeing people go buck wild and, you know, kind of know that you're doing a good job and that people are digging what you're doing and kind of just trying to have good times. How do you feel before you go on and uh, behind, get behind the decks? Like, how do, you, how do you amp up? I don't really get nervous. I more just get like, antsy where I'm just like come on it's go time let's do this um you know could be 10 people could be 10,000 people I mean I'll still play the same way I just love to play music and uh you know once I get on stage it's go time and it's kind of like just flip mode and let's let's do this mm -hmm. yeah. and you love what you do oh, like every day it. yeah every day every waking moment uh you know music's running through my blood and always hearing new things and thinking about new ideas and uh yeah i totally love it and i wouldn't give it up for the world have you had any challenges uh in your way that you kind of had to work around like did you ever have those moments where you're like uh, should i be doing this or should <laughs> i just you know do a regular man you job? know everybody you know has hurdles and stuff and you know to jump over um you know drum and bass starting out Many times, you know, I'd play for the supper, club, supper crowd, which is basically like, you know, the bar staff and stuff like that and, you know, pay my own way to get out there and play for free. And, uh, but I mean, I wouldn't have done it if I didn't love it. So, you know, just got to keep doing what you love and just persevere and just kind of keep going and doing it. What do you see in the future of the industry? For dubstep, I mean, it's, it's skies are the limits. I mean, it's already blowing up and started to blow up not too long ago, but you know, you hear it on the radio and stuff now. So, I mean, it might even just end up being like top 40, you know what I mean? But yeah. you know, if it's popular, it's popular and it's good, it's good. And you know, I'm just kind of glad I got into it before it got to that point. So. Yeah, right on. What kind of advice would you give to people trying to break into the scene? Because um, uh, it's, it's, it's tough. To yeah, I know for sure. Um, there's two roots. There's the way I look at it. It's either if you're, you're, you're making music, trying to get in that way, be the producer, or you're just like on the hard hustle, like, you know, I don't know, promote, sell tickets, like push yourself, get, get like, blast yourself on the internet, get yourself out there, make people aware that of what you're doing, you know, just, just push yourself, push yourself. Mm -hmm. And, you know, hopefully your friends and your fans and family will support you and uh, people will notice and recognize. Okay, let's talk about Toronto, because okay. I mean, we're at the epicenter of multiculturalism here, yeah. right? So what, what's so great about Toronto? What turns you on in Toronto? Uh, I just think Toronto is just so many different people and so many people are accepting like the music scene is just thriving and it's just huge and everybody loves it and everybody has a good time and 
I just think it's a booming industry. Everybody keep your ears open. You got uh, anything to say to all your fans? Uh, I just want to say thanks for uh, all the support constantly. And, uh, you know, I love Toronto. I love the fans and I love the music. And, uh, yeah, just keep rocking it. And thanks for coming out. Thank you so much Respect, for man. coming by and uh, well, letting us into your place. Yeah, no and helping us turn on Toronto. Okay. Awesome. Cheers. Cheers. What you gonna do when they